Um, so, Steve, since you're doing so well on the internet side, I'm going to go to you. Yeah. No, and my see internet, it. dude, my internet is great. Like, I just checked it's 150, oh, oh. 154 oh. megabytes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hurricane, oh, man. Then maybe you and, can tell and, us and, why it and, sounds and, like a hurricane is coming <laughs> in <laughs> every time on Skype. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's, that's the thing. I have no Cyber idea. I just checked Steve. it, and my upload speed's like 10 megabytes, too. So, like, I don't understand. I could why see through your eyes you were lying to us. Well, it doesn't seem like you're being haunted right now, so I think this might <laughs> oh, be a good yeah. opportunity sure. for you to share your topic. <laughs> All right. Well, my topic is why does everyone think Matt Damon is a saint? No, no, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, <laughs> he is time. a saint, Steve, and you need <laughs> you need to stop saying bad things about him on, in the text messages. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <All right. laughs> I All wish right. you could be in this group, this group chat, Alan, and, and you. Yeah. Negated because of being in. Steve British. went off on people from the Special Olympics. He went off on Matt <laughs> Damon. He went <laughs> off on everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's not a shame. Fuck racist. Yeah. Dude, it was insane. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Was that thing kind of looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> you should put your mouth right, in it. <laughs> yeah, mine's going to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> He was licking balls there. I don't know if you guys saw yeah. that. <laughs> those, those listening to MP3, you guys are gonna have to get the YouTube, oh um, gosh, the video to see that. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Maelstrom Dreamers channel. There you go. Yeah. All right, Steve. Sorry. What's what's your topic, buddy? Uh, mine's gonna be worst college struggles. Worst whether college. it be okay. yeah, whether it be like I don't know, like food struggle, a money struggle, like what, <sighs> like what, what, like almost I guess would be off be too like. If you can remember like a moment where you were it was like it's just such a struggle like maybe you had to i don't know clean clean windows or something like that for money so you can just get some for, for some ramen noodles or something i don't know like just gotcha. a moment gotcha. where you think you could think that there was this alleyway i worked for a while <laughs> <laughs> no uh, i actually you, what? I, I, I <laughs> Yeah, you were there, Alan. Yeah. Oh, like, I don't remember this. Well, you're not telling me something, man. You were a client. What are you talking about? You there. Broad Street. I saw you. I think I saw you there. <laughs> working. That's working. Some pretty the heels, bro. Yeah. <laughs> There's some nice shoes. <laughs> that skirt was a little short. I was sucking dick for coke. He was like, Dad, is that what <laughs> your dad. Was What's like, ZJ, wait, wait. buddy? If you don't know what a ZJ is, you can't afford it. <laughs> man. So that's how you got the problems, problems, right? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. I'll go first too. Um, I didn't go to college. Um, I did hang. I did. You know, you guys know. I, I went to move in with Rocco and everything like that. Um, I remember one of our struggles was mainly money, and I remember we had to basically. It was yeah, it's ramen noodles. I think we all we all did um, that. At some not point. just ramen noodles. Name it off. It was the one thing we okay. always ate. All right, so we made this giant bowl. <laughs> Of well, Rocco didn't like tuna at the time, so I had to make it with chicken. But it was a uh, it was like chicken salad, uh, macaroni type thing. But we put bacon in it. We put like uh, chicken, canned chicken, um, mayo. mayo, and like uh, yeah. bacon, like a huge pound of bacon. Look, and that thing, the, uh, we salad that bu- component. <laughs> yeah, where's the greens <laughs> going? <laughs> <laughs> Macaroni. Oh, the macaroni. Yeah. Oh, the macaroni. Now yeah. it's a salad. Oh, <laughs> the starch. I love that macaroni vegetable, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> so we can make like a huge amount of it, though. Oh, and we like... made a giant bowl of it, and we eat it every single night. Um, whether it to be like we, if we wanted to taste different, we'd put like some sriracha in it, maybe make mm. it spicy one night. Let me some sriracha. Uh, by the end of the week, it would look pretty bad, but we'd still eat it. Yeah. Well, you left it in I the sun every day. Pretty bad we were po we folks, do. guys. We were po folks. We literally had that thing like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, dude. It was yeah. terrible. <laughs> yeah, I actually still definitely. like it today, though. I'm like, ooh, it tastes good. It bigs up memories. <laughs> I've made it since. I've made it yeah. since. So, no, okay, I would say my struggle was 8 a.m. classes, okay? So, uh, <laughs> Jesus, rough. we a. sound a. like a bunch of privileged assholes a. on <laughs> There was two classes that uh, they only gave them once, and they were on Friday at 8 a.m. that that I had to take. And uh, I back in college, I was a bartender, so I would work until four or five in the morning. And then th- this one day, I get to class, and I'm so tired. I worked all night, and I sit down. I see everyone in their book reading. I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm studying for the test." And I said. When's the test next week? He's like, no, today. I was like, well, I fell back. <laughs> <'Cause> I <didn't... laughs> well, 
That's done. So uh, I've yeah. That test. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So uh, I, that was my, my biggest struggle. I was gonna say I'm gonna lean on 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 the one that Stephen was saying about the biggest struggle is money situations in college. You know, I was a uh, I played uh, lacrosse in college as well as going to college, which was difficult as it was, you know, playing a, playing a collegiate sport where they were asking you to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go do workouts, and then you got two days throughout the day, and you got to hey, have a class, and you got to go to practice, and you got to have class, 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 late afternoon practice. It was like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, but on top of that, I was struggling for money because I decided to move off of campus on my junior year. I think that's all, like, it was all of our decisions to kind of move, move out of the uh, dorms, and uh when I moved out, I got into an apartment, and which meant that uh, I needed to start having some I- income to be able to pay for this apartment. So I also got myself a job um, working at Smoothie King, um, which yeah. was uh, serious dough at the time. So it wasn't really covering the cost. Get that smoothie money. So yeah. money, <laughs> money was That's a seven big, bucks an hour. Big big issue for me because actually I had um, because money wasn't coming in as as much as I would have loved it to to be able to cover the cost of my apartment that at that time I started to actually put myself in debt through credit cards, um, paying for the, the 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 rent just so I could have a place to stay kind of deal. I ended up actually selling almost every movie I owned at that time it was like three hundred something movies. I went to the pawn shop to sell these bitches for like a dollar a piece, which was such a rip off for me because I was like I invested twenty bucks per video. You know, yeah. 300 something videos. I was like, this is the worst thing. I had to start giving up a lot of different things that I had owned at the pawn shop just to try to cover costs. And that wouldn't even get me the full month rent. It would just be like, okay, I got a half a month rent. And now I got to put the other one on the credit card. Yeah. You know? So Damn. for me, money was the big struggle. So it was like I was doing college, was doing, you know, lacrosse, was working at Smoothie King, and then also going to the pawn shop on, you know, every other day to try to sell shit just so I could have some money to be able to cover the costs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was a struggle, honestly. That was a struggle that I even had so, kind of like put a damper on my life for about five years after college, just paying off debts just from can that. I ask, mm-hmm. Can I ask you guys why you guys moved out of the dorm? Like, would it be cheaper? Uh, Live in the dorm? Actually, or? in some cases, it wasn't. I think it was like, yeah, some cases it wasn't. I think it was like a maturity thing. I think it was like, want to get out of here and go get our own places. We can do our own things, you know, like partying yeah. too as well. We're, you know, at that age, we're starting to get 21. We can go out and get liquor and we can do our own things, you know. I, you can party in the dorms? Well, you, you can't, can't, you know. Right. Like, you drink in the dorms, technically. Yeah, yeah, technically. Uh, technically. Yeah. And the dorms are really small, right? Like, yeah. we're oh, talking about were. living in a house. With yeah. your big old room. And- you got a room, you got a house kind of deal, or you got a small little room, you know, in the dorms. Mm-hmm. I think it was like a, it was, it was a lot of different reasons, I think. Plus, you're living with your friends. It's more than just yeah. one roommate. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> that was my, my, my biggest struggle by far during the college years was money. <clears throat> money and yeah. trying to cover the cost for the living on top of going out all the time. It's always funny, too, when bums come up to you, you know, they're just like, hey, you know, you, got some dollars you're like motherfucker do you got dollars because i need some fucking money <laughs> like, <laughs> motherfucker i should be on the street asking you for money yeah, like, you're even i'm in debt yeah <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah i don't like give me some fucking subs <laughs> dude i don't i don't mind that so much i had that lady the other day come up and made this like elaborate story saying she just moved out of her her um her and her boyfriend just moved out of her uh her mom's house because they got in a giant fight they have a plane ticket to go to new york tomorrow but they needed somewhere to stay that night and he just wondered if i had any money at all to give to them i was like i don't have any money to give to you and they're like oh well i was like i said i have no money on me or whatever like well can can you like go to like the atm and you know pull some out we'll do we'll do anything you know you want me wash your car or anything i'm like i'm sorry i can't (laughs) i was like they're always on their way somewhere this is the part that makes me mad they got pissed off she got mad at me like i was like i was like okay like what like what the fuck yeah i just told you you're the one that fucking decided to go get a plane you're gonna be mad at me and you're gonna be mad at me for it like i don't know i get that that irks me i don't mind about asking for money but when you get pissed off that i don't have any (laughs) like (laughs) go go sleep in a chair yeah Yeah, something like that that's ridiculous that is crazy that's crazy yeah. yeah so, um, what about you guys, man? Struggles, college, um, keeping your house clean, bro. Like that's one for <laughs> sure. You guys had roaches out the yin yang in that place. <laughs> yeah, we did. But to be fair, I have a feeling that that was a previous issue I think because because <laughs> we fixed it, right? Like we killed them all because we get we gave them all AIDS. 
according to the <laughs> the the, the, ex, the exterminator comes in. He's like, "Hey guys, how's it going?" And I was like, "We're like, dude, we got roaches everywhere, and it's probably I'm our gonna fault." These motherfuckers AIDS. Because <laughs> yeah, and he's like, because we keep beer and all this food out, and he's like. So here's what I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put a special stuff in here. You know, I'm gonna give these little like crumbs in the in the cracks and stuff like that. And I was like, oh cool, what does that do? He's like, well, essentially it gives them AIDS. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, how does that work? You're giving roaches AIDS. He's like, well, look, the roach he comes in, he's gonna eat the little stuff. He's gonna get sick. Okay, he's gonna come back to the nest. And he's gonna die. And the roaches they eat themselves. But when they eat themselves, he'll, they'll eat the the chemicals that are in the original one that ate it, and it all spreads. It's like that is fucking badass. I was like, I don't think okay. that's how AIDS works. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> people die, and then other people eat the AIDS guy. Yeah, yeah. I've never gets... heard of this. Before. Yeah, there's no there's no sex like... involved in this tactic, but. <laughs> Anyway, it kills all the roaches, but I'm pretty sure we didn't change our cleaning habits. I'm pretty sure we left beer all over the place and crumbs, but there just wasn't roaches anymore. And how do you know sex wasn't involved in that? <laughs> yeah. and well, roaches. roaches. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's gross. That's gross. Yeah, um, our was like sticky in like certain points, from be- like spilled beer and like, yeah. yeah, it was pretty nasty. I remember walking huge... in and feeling like I had like walked in quicksand a few different times with my shoes. Yeah, it's like, like really Whoa. sticky, like sometimes. <laughs> it was gross. Yeah, well, you guys it did was... throw parties. To to be honest, you threw parties with like yeah. two hundred plus people. That easy, was a terrible smell you know? in the morning. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah, and there was a huge place and trying to get. Two people to help clean up was like wrangling cats, let alone six. Yeah. So like, yeah. that was tough. Um, <laughs> that was ridiculous. I think I don't know struggles. I honestly I don't know how you don't say finances, but yeah. So I, I know I had to work at a sushi <clears throat> restaurant um, just to get some furniture. I mean, I, my parents helped me a ton. I actually feel silly even complaining about it. I don't have any right to complain. Like I was eating ramen and just bagels with peanut butter at times, but um, that's really good. Cool. It, yeah, I, I know. I, I just wouldn't really call them good combination struggles. Oh, well, then uh, since you don't really have struggles or anything, like you did, you know anybody else that had them? Like even if you don't have to name names. I don't know. I'll tell yeah. you another struggle too here. Uh, in my senior year, or actually, it was like kind of like near, near my the end of my junior year, I had a hard drive that had everything that I had worked on up to my junior year on, and um, I wasn't like nowadays. I'm really good with making sure I have backup information all over the place. But I didn't at that time, and everything mm. I had worked on had been deleted because the the hard drive got corrupted, which led into me having to redo like not redo, but just do a whole bunch of other different things to even have a uh, senior reel, which was kind of like really upsetting and depressing for me um, because it was just like all the work that I'd done previously to that that would have it would have worked towards going yeah, to my senior reel. Like, what about what was about that? Like, that was a big that? deal for me, you know. I have a legit struggle. I just thought of. <laughs> Yeah. Not well, to say that yours still, isn't. I'm yeah, just saying yeah. that what I was previously talking about weren't legit, and now I have one in my head. And it kind of goes to your Halloween, uh, Halloween, oh. jalapeno poppers. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to make those. I'm going to make Halloween poppers. <laughs> um, <laughs> but basically, like, it's the first time that you're, in my experience, you're away from family, and I got food poisoning my freshman year in college. Oh. And that was probably the biggest struggle, not having the care and atten- attention that your parents give you. Because, yeah. like, and I'm not saying my mom's there, like, stroking my head the whole time, but, like, it's like you're sick you acknowledge you're in a safe place and you're my dad or mom help, yeah they're like okay if you need anything i'm gonna go to the store i'm gonna get you a bunch of medicine i'm gonna get you a bunch of like food you're gonna be well taken care of right and when i was not, a, that's not really the college friend route <laughs> right like i wasn't that's they don't need to and i was just yeah. sick as a dog in my bed and just like dude i don't know what to do i can't get up like who's what college person because i know i don't have a lot of money what college person is gonna go out and get stuff for me like get like crackers and get like bro had you asked i would have stroked your head and put the put the put the some cloth on your forehead and and (laughs) yeah and (laughs) but like nate nate was actually really cool he's like dude like i got two bucks I'm gonna go to the vending machine. Can I get you like a parry? I was like, yes, parry. If I'm gonna make, but like, you know, what I mean? and that was all he had, and like he helped me out, and like that was really cool. But you know, it still doesn't compare to like just yeah. endless amounts of soup and all this other stuff. But that's See, legit, now, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And a college buddy would be like, "Hey, drink this beer, and you'll just forget it." <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my god. <laughs> Have some beerios. Oh, no, everywhere, man. <laughs> not at art. Not at art school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, just like not having. Just not having that like safety net of parents when you're sick uh, and being yeah. sick for the first time away from them was pretty pretty interesting and quite a struggle, I guess. You get over it, but that sucked. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. And see, I, I had financial uh, struggles too. I actually worked three jobs at one point while going to college. Jesus. So 
but and and you know, I was just paying through college. I even have now college debt that I'm paying off. But I I think that just comes with uh, going to college is finances, man. It's not. It's a that, struggle. That is stupid. Which is and, a topic in itself. Yeah. Oh, that like, should not oh my be the case. Gosh. Yeah. Right. I, right. I, I, I agree with you. It's ridiculous because I feel like the fact that people would even have to worry about the finances while going to get their education is like you're putting a huge strain on that person really like really getting the thorough education that they need. You know? That's it's scary when we're starting to think that that's just the thing you do. Well, it's well, college. It's yeah, college. get your job. With get a job. Sell your yeah, shit at the fucking pawn yeah. shop. That's go and get three jobs. You know, like <laughs> what do you what do you mean college is free? You've only got friends. two bucks to go get a Powerade. Why do you only have two bucks? Because no one has <laughs> fucking money at the damn yeah. <laughs> like <God. laughs> Yeah. And, and, Everybody's and what, struggling, man. A, a cra- look, I'm not saying like a crazy story, but um I was working one day and I was at the beach and my boss was wanting me to work more hours and kind of like run the business. And I said, well, what about I don't I wouldn't have any time for school and he goes schools for certain people and I was uh, I already cut my hours at school instead of cutting my work hours oh, and, man, no. and right there in that conversation I went well schools for me so I'm cutting myself uh, at that one job I cut myself down to only two days a week yeah. and he was like shocked and I was like you know what I need to reevaluate my life and yeah. so I went back to school full-time and I finished school in two, within two years then so that's there you go. awesome yeah yeah, yeah. My so wife had to like she had to she had a full time job while doing her masters and stuff like that and like I don't know like college is supposed to be a special experience like it is about the the academia and your your craft right but like there's also <clears> the <throat> social aspect that I just feel that would really suck if you take that away from someone right. that young you know what I mean like if if they're if their heads down working all the time and they're and then just working full time and then working on studying and not really enjoying the other part of college. I feel like that's that's a missed opportunity. That right. sucks. That's true. I yeah, agree. I agree. So. Hey, Alan, man, did you say you had one? Um, so I'm wondering if this this is not really a struggle. Well, I guess it's a struggle at the time, but uh, this is gonna be a little real as well. Uh, <laughs> I kind of my struggle I struggled with at the time was kind of how I treated some of my closer friends. Um, in particular, there's this one guy who I'm friends with still to this day, who I really treated like extremely poorly, um, like almost like like physically abused him uh, when we were living together, and it's something I've always kind of regretted. So it's more like a regret rather than a struggle at the time, because I didn't think, you know, at that time I was like, oh, this is just dudes being dudes, you know, this is mm-hmm. what happens, you know, people get into arguments and stuff. But I kind of feel like it might have damaged. Uh, my like friendship with that person in the long run so Mm. it's definitely one of those things that you know like 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 i was saying before you don't have the maturity level then to realize what you're doing you know you know acting like a dick or an asshole to people is going to affect you like long term that could have been a past past thing where your your future self tells your past self (laughs) that is is (laughs) true yeah yeah Yeah. quite a few things yeah it's and so what i got from that is that he's sorry clay (laughs) yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I went into that alley when you were working there. <laughs> you ruined my top client. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, relationship struggles. Yeah. We're, we're also still growing. Like there's, there's friendships, relationships and all types of stuff that like, yeah, yeah I'm sure we all struggle. That maturity with. thing is a big point, you know, <clears throat> like that's a big point. I think yeah, we're all sure. in that in those stages of college. We're still kind of going through figuring out who we are and and how the world works and and how to mature. Especially us as men, you know. I think we obviously we mature slower than than females do. So it's like it's almost like a harder trip to kind of get through. <laughs> yeah, man. And figure out for ourselves. I know? think we stop. We actually stop growing like around twenty seven, twenty eight. Yeah. And we actually reach maturity level. Like, yeah, full maturity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> Well, yeah. some of us, Ian, so, so mature. <laughs> <laughs>